What is going on guys? My name is Mehul and welcome to your fourth ECMAScript 6 tutorial in which I'll be showing you how to set up your Google Chrome to work with ECMAScript. Now this may sound weird because we already did set up a compiler and that is to just compile our ECMAScript 6 code into ECMAScript 5 but what happens is eventually that I'm doing tutorials for ECMAScript 6 so if I just write some code here and then it compiles into ECMAScript 5 and then we run it on the browser you know I just defeat the purpose of the tutorial and that is to teach you guys how browsers interact with ECMAScript 6 now if you are coding ECMAScript 6 for a live website for now for the year 2016 or maybe even in 2017 you would require a compiler for you know just if you are doing like production scale development but if you are just trying to learn yourself then you can eventually enable something called as the javascript harmony flag <coughs> in google chrome to harness all the ecmascript 6 functionalities so to do that just go to your Google Chrome browser and I highly recommend using Google Chrome for this purpose just go to Chrome flags this page right there and just search for harmony this is I guess this one so just go to this thing right here enable experimental JavaScript if you can see enable web pages to use experimental JavaScript features and that's what brings you the support for ECMAScript 6 and just click on enable now just relaunch your browser and you'll be good to go so if I just open my web page again and reload now we have access to ECMAScript 6 and I can prove that by just writing a simple function let my war is one and uh, let's just say console log my war well i would teach you about this let keyword in the next tutorial but i'm just gonna show you how this works so yeah so that's how you just set up your chrome to work with ecmascript 6 so in the next tutorial we'll be finally starting off with es6 so that's all for this one don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching